Now then, you feel better for that? <laughs> You're not in a draft, are you? They can put you away for that, you know. Pardon? Talking to yourself. I wasn't talking to myself, I was talking to Flory. Flory? Mm, Flory Bundy. <laughs> I've had her ever since she was a little shoot. You've got to talk to them, you know, to make them grow. Really? What do you say? Grow, you little Bundy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello? No, no, this is not Neville speaking. This is his sister. How dare you? It's your friend Bobby. Oh, how nice. <laughs> and would you kindly tell him that my name is not Grotty Dotty? <laughs> he didn't call you that, did he? Yes, he did. Just his little joke. <laughs> Hello, Bobby. Now, will you stop upsetting my sister? Never mind what I call her. <laughs> oh, no, anyway. Oh, you're not, are you? He's had trouble with his King Edwards. <laughs> Have you tried scraping them first? <laughs> then drop them for a few minutes in hot fat. <laughs> you drop... Oh, that's nice. He's bought yourself a new suit. <laughs> oh, it sounds lovely. <laughs> it's pale blue with a slit up the back. <laughs> it's tight under the wear. <laughs> well, I've told you, love, you need plenty of room under there. You're a big lad, you know. He will buy suits too tight for him under the arms. <laughs> yes, love. Hmm? How's the weather? Oh, it's watting down. <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> will you do me a favour? Will you send me some black puddings? Yes, you can't buy them down here. <laughs> Bless you. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> I think he's fretting for me. Have you known him a long time? Oh, yes, we went to school together. I've known him ever since he was a little girl. A little girl? Well, mentally, that is. His mother wanted a girl. She'd got four boys, so when Bobby came along, she dressed him in girls' clothes. <laughs> Wasn't until he was at nursery school he realised he was a boy. We were playing that game, you know, you show me yours and I'll show you mine. <laughs> <laughs> he never got over the shock. Morning, Mr Neville. Morning, Miss Dorothy. Good morning, Wilf. You're looking very nice this morning, if I may say so. No, oh, thank you. <laughs> you meant me, not you. Oh, I'm sorry, I spoke. You want to see me, Will? Yes, Mr. Neville. Well, you remember that uh, Happy Side Holiday Camp order? Oh, yes. What about it? Well, you remember we also decided we couldn't put the letter in through the rock because the name was too long. Yes, so I suggested Neville's Candy. Neville's Candy, that's right. Well, Percy nearly got it right. <laughs> Neville's Randy. <laughs> <laughs> We'll have to scrap the whole lot, melt it down and start again. I think I'd better have a word with you. Yes, I've got him outside. Here, come in a minute, will you? Come on. I must have a word with you. Come on, <clears throat> Afternoon, all. It's morning. Is it really? It just shows you how time flies when you're working. Now, look, listen and pay attention. Now, you know why you're here, don't you? Yes. Well, it's not good enough. You're quite right, Mr Neville. It isn't good enough. Oh, I'm glad you admit it. Oh, I do, I do. Now, you promise faithfully it won't happen again. What won't? What happened this morning? Neville's randy. Well, tell him to stand in a bucket of cold water. <laughs> Never mind. Go back to pulling your rope. Right. <laughs> and don't you worry, Mr Neville. It won't happen again, whatever it was. No wonder business is dropping off. Ah, now, I'm glad you've mentioned that. What are we going to do to increase production? Well, uh, first of all, you get rid of birth control. I don't mean uh, that sort of production. <laughs> I mean, The Rock. Now, we've got to... We need some publicity. We've got to have our name known all over the country. We've got to make Little Hampton a household word. All right, then. Come on, mastermind. How are you going to do it? You won't laugh. No. Promise? Promise. No, I know you will. You no, won't. no, we won't laugh. No, we no, won't. No, we won't. Cross your hearts and hope to die. Oh, yes. cross your hearts and hope to Come die. Come on, just tell us what it is. We're going to swim the channel. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'd laugh. Oh, it's as good as a plane. <laughs> We're going to swim the channel. <laughs> Not we, you. <laughs> Me? But I'd never make it. I'd get out of breath just getting into the bath. <laughs> way, we'll do it in relays. Percy, you, Ma, Marilyn, Cleo. Oh. Little Hampton to dear. It's never been done before. 
I can see the headlines now. Rock factory in Channel Swim. No survivors found. <laughs> That's right, go on, make fun of it. We men of vision have always been laughed at. Oh, honestly, Neville, I think the whole idea is ridiculous. Well, see how ridiculous it is first thing in the morning. Are we going to do it tomorrow? No, we're going to start our training. I want all the staff down on the beach at eight o'clock in the morning with their cosies. We're going to make history. How's your rock cock? <laughs> What's the matter with you? I'm shy. <laughs> Look, where have you been? I've just been for a run along the beach. Yeah, but what kept you? Well, I was watching an old fellow wash his cockles. <laughs> Where's the staff? They're inside changing. <laughs> Come on, you lovely lot. Expose yourselves. <laughs> oh. It doesn't need much to the imagination, does it? What do you think then, Mr. Neville? They'll catch their death of cold. Oh, Mr. Neville. Where's the others? Oh, they're almost ready. Come along. Let's have you. <laughs> what a lovely move, huh? How do I look? Like a zebra crossing. <laughs> like a zebra crossing what? Oh, where's Ma? She'll be out in a minute. Come on, Ma! Where are you? <laughs> I'm ready. Yes, but ready for what? <laughs> Silly old fool, where did you get that Victorian Albert Museum? Do you mind who got this for my honeymoon? Where did you get yours, Oxfam? Gammages. Now, don't you? Come on, get oh, away. Get so now, come come on. On. Let's get started. <laughs> We can't, we can't. We're waiting for Percy. Just, just, just a minute, Mr. Just a minute. Aren't you going in? No, no. I washed my hair this morning. I don't want to spoil it. Come along, Percy. <laughs> <laughs> the man from Atlantis. <laughs> You're supposed to be swimming the channel, not fishing for sharks. <laughs> what did Horace say, Winnie? He, he said his mask is all misted up. Yeah, and my flippers are too tight. Well, get them off. Now, Mr. Neville. <laughs> Not you, Marilyn. Any excuse. Now, come along, please. Oi, Esther Williams. Come no, on. I'm not going to go. I'm not going to go. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> it's time we all went into the water. Come on, Will. Everybody into the water. Follow me. <laughs> And they're like two pennies of chips waiting for some vinegar. Sorry, Mr. Neville, I can't do it. I'm only asking you to swim, dear. <laughs> well, I didn't want to tell you before, Mr. Neville, but I can't swim. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, you better go and get changed. <laughs> now, Marilyn, I'm sure you won't have any trouble keeping afloat. <laughs> you are a little devil, Mr. Neville. <laughs> <laughs> you can swim, can't you? I don't know. I never tried. But I'm sure I'll soon get the hang of it. <laughs> you better fall out. I'll rephrase that. Go and get changed. Oh, I can't manage without a life belt. You can't swim the channel wearing a life belt. Well, I can't swim without one. Go and get changed. Well, I told you, didn't I? Wilf, how far can you swim? To the bottom. <laughs> well, that's it. We're knickered. Knickered? You mean knackered? I know what I mean. <laughs> how far can you swim, Percy? Well, I'll have a go. As long as I can hang on to a boy. You can join the queue. <laughs> oh, well, that's it. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Looks as if you'll have to cancel it, Mr. Neville. Yes, you're right. Come on, Percy. Yeah, come on, Chester. <laughs> Neville! 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 I've got some marvellous news. Well, I could do with some of that. This is Mr. Willis. The Minister of Physical Activities. <laughs> that sounds nice. Can anybody join? Mr. Sutton, <laughs> I'm proud of you. It's a wonderful thing you're doing. <laughs> I'm not doing anything. <laughs> He's so modest. 
When I told Mr. Willis about the Channel Swim, he was delighted. Oh, yes, this will put Great Britain and Little Hampton on the map. <laughs> well, that's what you think. <laughs> oh, I don't think I know. I've already been in touch with the television people, the national press. They'll all be here on the great day. That'll be very nice. It's a pity they won't have anything to see. It's been cancelled. Cancelled? You can't cancel it. You're not now. We're too late, I have to. Anyway, I thought you were dead against the idea. Ah, that was before I spoke to Mr. Willis. Well, yes, we, we are arranging a civic reception. Mm, very nice. Yes, and a welcome home parade. <laughs> well, none of them can swim. Oh, dear. Then I'll have to cancel everything. But I can't. I mean, the no, arrangements... No, no, it's all right, Mr. Willis. There is a question of honour at stake. Yes? We promised that Sutcliffe's would swim this channel, and I give you my word that a Sutcliffe will do just that. That. Oh, Dorothy, I can't let you do it. <laughs> I'm not going to do it, you are. Me? Are you sure? Yes, oh, he's sure. I'm good. I'll go and confirm the arrangement. Uh, uh, what day will it be? Friday. And more Friday. Oh, that's splendid. I'll be here. Now, listen to me, Dorothy. No, you listen to me. This is too good an opportunity to pass up. You could get knighted. Get whatted? <laughs> knighted? <laughs> Lady Sutcliffe of Little Hampton. Don't you mean Sir Neville? I'm glad the others can't swim. All the more glory for you. <laughs> but you're forgetting one thing. What's that? I can't swim either. <laughs> but what am I going to do? What am I going to do? <laughs> And so are you, Miss Dorothy, if I may say so. Control yourself, Wilf. I'm sorry, I, I get carried away sometimes, you know. Well, I hope you know what you're doing. So do I. You've got your work cut out to try and teach Mr. Neville to swim by tomorrow. Well, I think once he gets a bit of confidence, he'll be all right. I've lent him a pair of my old water wings. <laughs> I'm ready and waiting. And the way you look, you won't have long to wait. You're supposed to wear the water wings outside. Well, I didn't know that, did I? Oh, well, I'd better get back to the factory. What a lovely figure. Oh, thank you. Not you, Miss Dorothy, him. Don't be personal. Go up, get up. I'm just going to put my cap on and then we'll start the swimming lesson. Oh, all right. Hello. Yeah. Nice here, isn't it? Very pleasant. Ooh. <laughs> Is anything the matter? I don't know, fancy you. <laughs> I beg your pardon? I think you're making a big mistake. <laughs> I don't think so. I think you're a little cracker. <laughs> well, it... <laughs> I wouldn't go any higher if I were you. You'll get the shot of your life! Give us a kiss. Get yeah, hell off you dirty old thing. Go away. I don't be shy. No, take your hands off me. No, help. I'll help me. I don't care what you can help. Look, you're making a I big mistake. You, I think I, you're lovely. I could get off. <laughs> You've bust me blue! <laughs> right, come on then, Evel, into the sea! No, wait for me, please! Help! No, I can't! Hang on, hang on! Am I drowned? I've only got half a water with. I think you're only half drowned! Oh, it's cold! I can feel the numbness creeping over my thighs! Oh, nonsense! Come on in! No, if I do, I shall ruin myself for life! Oh, come on, Neville! You haven't got your costume wet yet! <laughs> Is this far enough? All right, it'll do. Now, do this. Push out together! Push out together! Push out together! Right, mate! This is very good! Now, try doing it again. But this time, take 
with your feet off the bottom. Right. <laughs> Dorothy, I shall never be ready to swim the channel by tomorrow. You won't have to swim the channel. Just a few hundred yards. Pardon? Wilf and I will be accompanying you across to Dieppe in a boat. I know that. All you have to do is swim out far enough. Then as soon as we're out of sight, you climb into the boat. Then we sail across to Dieppe and drop you as near the shore as we can. That's cheating. That's right. But that's a problem. <laughs> Uh, well, here we are in Littlehampton, where any moment now, Neville Sutcliffe will attempt a world record cross-channel swim to Dieppe, a distance of almost 100 miles. And, uh, but, uh, but first, a word with the Right Honourable Mr. Uh, Willis, the Minister of Physical Activities. How do you do? Uh, this must be a proud moment for you, Mr. Willis. Oh, yes, I think I can say in all due modesty, the wind of change is blowing through this great country of ours. Uh, physical activities are second to none, and it gives me great personal pleasure that my idea for this great challenge... Your has idea, not... Flaming Chief! Uh, do you mind, please, madam? Yes, I do mind. And I'm not a madam, I'm a muz. And it wasn't your his idea at all, it was Neville's and mine. Ours. Uh, please remember that when the honours list comes round. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Uh, and now I, I do believe that Mr. Neville Sutcliffe is almost ready to join us. <laughs> yes, indeed, here he is now. Well, in a few minutes' time, we will see the start of this tremendous challenge. Uh, as I said earlier, uh, Mr. Sutcliffe is going to attempt to swim from Littlehampton to Dieppe. Uh, a challenge that will require courage, endurance and stamina. <laughs> wouldn't you agree? Uh, oh, uh, wouldn't you agree? Oh, yes, yes. Are you the BBC or the other lot? The other lot. <laughs> well, beggars can't be choosers. <laughs> are we actually on television now? Yes, indeed, we are on television. <laughs> Do you mind if I say hello to my friend Bobby? Well, I don't think that this is Bobby. <laughs> hello, Bobby. <laughs> hello, Bobby. I don't want to interrupt your battering. Keep your chips crispy. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> uh, now, Mr. Sutcliffe, um, how do you feel about your immense feet? There's nothing wrong with my feet. I only take so <laughs> sick. Are you confident that you can achieve success? Oh, yes. Yeah. Have a stick of rock. No, thank you. <laughs> Perhaps you'd like a rock lolly. No. <laughs> it's all Little Hampton Rock, 10p a stick, six sticks for 50p. <laughs> or perhaps you'd like a rock banana, only 10p. Or a rock kipper, only 15p. Or how about a nice set of rock teeth? Because then... <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, afraid, uh, I'm afraid we must leave Mr. Sutcliffe here as he is about to plunge into the sea to commence his dangerous cross-channel swim from which he may never, ever return with any luck. <laughs> right, now, have you got the grease? Grease? You've got to grease me all over. Oh, yes. Well, well I, I couldn't find any grease. Don't worry. I've got some cooking oil. Open the costume. <laughs> That's next, but we won't bother with that. Just get into the boat oh, and take that with you. All right. Now, mind how you go. All right, all right. You don't like to do it backwards. And whatever turns you on. You get into the boat. All right, don't Right, now, mind that. What a thing. Right, here we go. <laughs> right, Will, take her away. the Chancellor of the Exchequer today to discuss the new income policy, a report from our industrial correspondent. 
America accuses the USSR of interference in Middle East affairs. No news has been heard of channel swimmer Neville Sutcliffe since he left Littlehampton this morning. It's feared that in the dark, he may have lost his bearings. Oh, the agony! I don't feel very well. That makes two of us. We're all going to die, you know. Oh, that's right. Go on, cheer us up. We might be marooned here for weeks. I'll tell you, we're all going to die. Yes, and you're going to be first. How do you know that? Because if you don't shut up, you'll go for a very long walk off a very short plank. Now look here, Mr. No, 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 we no. mustn't lose our tempers. You're right. You're, you're right, Miss Dorothy. We, we must just sit here and wait. Well, I hope we don't have to wait long. Why? I want to go. Who? Oh, you're where? I want to go. You know, to the what's it. Oh, don't think about it. I can't help thinking about it with all this water splashing now. Do you mind changing the subject? You've got me at it now. I could do with a little nibble. Well, don't look at me. A nibble? Well, it's difficult standing up in the boat, but I'll do my best. Oh, oh sit down, <laughs> it's all drown. I mean, I'm hungry. Well, I'm a bit peckish myself. Have we got any rock left? No, no, I'll have a look. There's nothing here. What's this cork here? I can't... Oh, oh, no, 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 Thank you very much, Wilf. Yes, it's a pleasure. We ought to sit and think how we're going to survive. How do you mean? If we're marooned for days. I tell you, we're all going to die. Oh, what are we going to do? What are we going to do? We'll just sing something cheerful, like look for the silver lining, or... I see land. How does that go? No, no. <laughs> land, land, I see land. Oh, oh, over there. I see. We've done it. Look, that's France. Of course, I don't think this is the end. Well, it, what does it matter? We've crossed the channel. That's the important thing. Don't curse them. Hello! Je suis ni anglaise from England. That's a right one here. Is this Dieppe? No, but you're not far from Bog the Regis. <laughs> oh, Bobby. <laughs> You know, it was so cold. When I came out of that water, it was all shriveled up. <laughs> My costume. <laughs> Thanks ever so much for watching. Hope we'll see you next week. Good night. God bless. Now then, you feel better for that? <laughs> You're not in a draft, are you? They can put you away for that, you know. Pardon? Talking to yourself. I wasn't talking to myself, I was talking to Florrie. Florrie? Mm, Florrie Bundy. <laughs> I've had her ever since she was a little shoot. You've got to talk to them, you know, to make them grow. Really?
Really? What do you say? Grow, you little bundy. <laughs> Hello? No, no, this is not Neville speaking. This is his sister. How dare you? It's your friend Bobby. Oh, how nice. <laughs> and would you kindly tell him that my name is not Grotty Dotty? <laughs> he didn't call you that, did he? Yes, he did. Just his little joke. <laughs> Hello, Bobby. Now, will you stop upsetting my sister? Never mind what I call her. <laughs> oh, no, anyway. Oh, you're not, are you? He's had trouble with his King Edwards. <laughs> Have you tried scraping them first? <laughs> then drop them for a few minutes in hot fat. Mm. You drop... Oh, that's nice. He's bought himself a new suit. <laughs> oh, it sounds lovely. <laughs> it's pale blue with a slit up the back. <laughs> it's tight under the wear. <laughs> well, I've told you, love, you need plenty of room under there. You're a big lad, you know. <laughs> he will buy suits too tight for him under the arms. <laughs> yes, love. Hmm? How's the weather? Oh, it's watting down. <laughs> it's raining. <laughs> will you do me a favour? Will you send me some black puddings? Yes, you can't buy them down here. <laughs> Bless you. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> Thank you, friend.